Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise, and today I'm going to take a look at this conversation that Dennis Sperling had with a divester. And the only reason that I'm doing this is because someone suggested they wanted me to do a review for Dennis Sperling. This may not have been the conversation, but this is the one that stood out to me. So let's go ahead and see what Mr. Sperling has to say to this lovely lady. What that mean? I don't, you can see, I love the Confederate flag because it doesn't, it doesn't offend me like it used to, because I used to be black male identified and I used to be into all of that stuff. So I kind of just abandoned. No, that's not the Confederate flag, that's the Confederate battle flag. The f- Confederate battle flag, yeah. yeah. That flag was actually flown only a few times in a few wars by a particular regiment. So that's not actually the yeah. Confederate flag. Come on, Mr. Sperling, going ahead from the gate and letting her know you can say whatever you want, but I'm going to correct you when you're wrong. Yeah, and this was actually in the United States Army, too. So it's not like people see this flag and they get so offended. I'm, like, I'm offended by it, but no, but it's not. Wear it, you're welcome to wear it, but yeah. you know, maybe we'll talk about that another time. But go ahead. Please explain to us what, what divestor means. I was just abandoning all black male identified ideology, abandoning the idea of black love. Um, black, 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 cutting, black love, black love. Yeah, just okay. cutting all that out. That's like, that's that's BS. Um, for me, it's just not dating black men um, because it, it's a, it's if you're entertaining black men at this point in time, it's kind of like a distraction for the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is what? Black women coming together in inner sisterhood, the way that we're doing. And it's, it's. That sounds so damn crazy. That sounds so. Black women coming together in a sisterhood. If you don't have your own sisters, why are y'all, why are women, these women, black women, so desperate to have a sisterhood? What is the point? What do grown women care about having a sisterhood for? Go join a sorority then. Like, I'm confused. I, I will never. I will never. Not even about divestors, but about needing a woman for being a part of a sisterhood. That sounds so juvenile. These are supposed to be grown people, adults. We're not even talking about children, talking about a sisterhood. We don't want anything to do with black men, black male identified, black male identified. It's just more rhetoric, trigger words. Black, my, black male identified is the first one. Her sitting up here, if she even looks black, because I think that she thinks because she's so light-skinned and she can change the way that she talks. Girl, I can do it too. Um, that that's supposed to be some sort of uh, I can switch up and be white. No, ma'am. You're still black. And then you got these daggone braids in here. Like, this is crazy. It's a growing community and I love it. Um. What's the, so, what's the, what do you think the end outcome of it? <laughs> the end goal? Black women putting right themselves first um, okay. and stop having all these out wedlock babies with all these black men. Uh, okay. Starting real Do you know that black women have 1.2 million babies by men? No, yeah, that's, see, that's that blackistan thing. No, no, again. that's 1.2 million babies by men who are not black over and above the amount that black men have. Like you, black women, and I know you don't have children. But, no. but one black women have 1.2 million black babies over mm-hmm. and above the amount of children that black men have, which means that they've been having children with white and most likely white and Hispanic men. No, she don't want to acknowledge that because you know what that means? What it actually comes down to, ma'am, is the fact that black women are overly sexualized and they don't know how to keep their legs closed. And the silliest of things can turn them on and get them in a mood where they want to go ahead and have a penis and start it into them. And that's really what the damn problem is. Can't stand up for nothing, but want to stand up here and say, no, I don't want to have nothing to do black, even though I'm black. What? And even if you do want to just go ahead and divest, can you go and just STFU? The thing is, is that these people just think that somebody honestly at the end of the day cares that they go and date white men. The problem is, is that most of you don't find them any daggone way. And as Mr. Sperling just pointed out, you ain't doing nothing over there differently than what you did over here. So what is the actual problem? Instead of just going around and just saying it's black land, it's blackistan. 
No, it's y'all's punk asses who want to re accept responsibility for nothing, but want to have a sisterhood. Let's be sisters. Be on code. It's the sisterhood. Leave me out of that bullshit. Well, Blackistan is a practice, too. They're practicing Blackistan over there, too, because they're getting with, like... Let's just make up words. We're practicing. They're practicing Blackistan. They're practicing... Girl, it sounds retarded. White guys don't usually leave their kids like that. Um, so, so they're what, practicing Blackistan over there, too. So that's the thing. Men, we have to Why do you think that. these white men are abandoning these black women with these children? I don't think that they're abandoning their kids. I oh, you don't think so. You don't think so because you don't want to think so. But you want to think that everything black is bad which is what's wrong with you. You have the problem because still at the end of the daggone day, your punk ass is black. Even if you mixed, you still black. You got a black mother or a black daggone father. So I hope you are admonishing them as well. And everyone connected to you that is black because that's what divesters do based on what I understand. They want to have nothing to do with anyone black unless you're a woman, which sounds pretty gay. Yeah, I said it. Sounds pretty gay to me. Not that I have a problem with being gay. Just come on out with it if that's what it is. Just say you're gay. It's okay. Not a problem. I just think that some, maybe black women didn't get married to them, which is unfortunate oh, sometimes. But. Oh, but isn't that practicing Blackistan? So it shouldn't be called Blackistan. It should be stupidity, stupid, stupidity stan. That's what it should be. Because if you dumb over here, you dumb over there because you dumb. Duh. And it's the same thing that they're doing in the black community. They're literally having children outside of wedlock with men of other races, just like they did with black men. And it's well, from what I see, from what I know, my friends, they're married to... This is not about your friends. That's the point. You can't come outside of what it is that you quote unquote see, but only you have access to that. So that's all you want to point out instead of looking at everything as a daggone hole full of sugar, honey, ice tea. Their husbands and they have nuclear families. That's great. I don't know any black women that's going around busting it wide open for white men and just, you know, doing the not, same thing. Not then you must not be on social media. Come take a look at some of the videos I got. That's exactly what they're doing. White, and Hispanic and Asian, but majority white. So my question is, and, and I yeah. want to go back to Blackistan, and this goes back to the question I asked you earlier. Mm -hmm. It seems as though they're taking that same culture over to white men and Hispanic men and Asian men and doing the same thing. Yeah, because you got a lot of, uh, you know, people that want to practice Blackistan wherever you go. And even some white guys, they think that that's cool to yeah. be like the black man, you know. And it, to me, if I can't listen, date a white guy that supports BLM. I cannot F with a liberal well, I don't support BLM either. They're just a bunch of crooks. Mm -hmm. you know? but, but that's not why we're here. And no. you not supporting BLM is, that's pretty common these days. Most black people don't support BLM. The yeah. People, but it stands for big, large mansions. Okay? <laughs> that's a good one. But, but, but my whole point is, it seems as though black women are taking the same practices and activities to these other communities. And I think it's a, well, a lot of black men are taking their activities like that. to, black, to black women. Don't that sound like a child? I'm going to tell you something. And then I'm just going to say, you do it too. But you know it too. You know it too. That's crazy. That's childish. That's stupid. So she's practicing the stupidism con or whatever word I use. She's practicing being a dumbass too, because that's not even an answer to the argument. That's not even a point to the argument. It's just when you do it too, that's the real problem, y'all. That's what I think the real problem is. Black women are mad that black men could always get white women. That's what it is. So they want to sit up here and say, we can't do it too. And then say, they're just going to divest because one woman got one white man and scandal came out. So now it's a whole movement. We can get any white man we want. Now, listen, I'm not trying to act like black women can't have interracial relationships because they have. I know plenty of people in my own little life that date white people. It, I don't even pay attention to it. It doesn't matter to me. 
The problem is, is that when you put someone else down and a whole group of people down in order for you to feel better about what you're doing, that is the problem. That's the crazy part, because if you are so unbothered and unconcerned about what someone else is doing and your life is so happy, why spend the time coming back and seeing what they're doing? Because basically that's what it is. It's like you went into a room and you closed the door on something, but you keep opening it and peeking back in. Or you looking through the daggone keyhole if you had that type of door and seeing what's going on. What's going on over there? What's going on over there? Because you're jealous. At the end of the day, a divester is just someone who's jealous about the fact that there's something that black men have been doing for years and they're mad and now they want to do it and they want black men to care. But honestly, at the end of the day, go on over there and have a good time. Nobody cares. That's the thing. No one cares. If divestors go quietly and go on over to white land and think everything is wonderful and perfect, then that's it. That's all. The problem again is the fact that you want to look back over here to see what's going on. You don't need to bring anybody with you, bitch. Because if I wanted to, I would, and I wouldn't need your help. That's the other thing. Women don't seem to know how to do anything on their dag on own. Why is that? Why can't you just do something on your own and not have to bring in a legion of leeches with you? It's like you got to work in packs and, and, and gaggle together so that you can just be mean. These women are mean spirited, have hate in their heart, and they are no good to anyone regardless of what their color is. They're crazy. And I mean that to the term of in insane. None of it makes sense. It just doesn't make any sense. But no one wants to do something like, how about this innovative idea? Go get therapy. I'm not going to deny that any man probably has had some sort of effect on any type of woman in any type of relationship. That's what relationships are. They're not, they're not supposed to be horrible, but they're definitely not perfect. Nothing in life is. But for some odd reason, these women just think that it's all their fault. It's that black man's fault. It's that black man's fault. It's that black man's fault. You know, they're crusty, musty, and dusty. But you don't want to see that you make the ultimate decision on who is in your space, who is in your life, who is inside of you. You don't want to take a look at that. You don't want to acknowledge those things. You just want to blame. So you think going over there with D white man is going to make a difference? Have at it, boo. Let's see if it makes a difference. But according to the numbers that Den Sperling is giving out, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Because stupidity is stupidity, no matter what man you try to roll up into it. Hear me, hear me out. I think it's a cultural issue. And when you say black culture, me, I mm -hmm. don't see that as a community. I see it as a culture issue, a toxic issue. But my mm -hmm. question to you is, who teaches the culture to the children? Well, you got the, the liberal school system, liberal academia. Uh, Lord have mercy. Let's go ahead and start blaming the school because everybody knows that you can't teach your children anything yourself. Huh? No grown man or woman who has a child can possibly teach their kids something outside of what the school teaches them. Here's another innovative idea. Private school. Nobody wants to think about that, huh? Can't send them to private school. Why is that? Why wouldn't you send them to private school? Why wouldn't you send them to a private black school? I'm sure there's plenty of them around. And the only one I can think of off top head of my head is the one that LeBron has. How about that? Or honestly, since you want to divest, there is tons, tons, especially even in my area of white schools, private schools that you can send your kids to. But for some reason, you don't. Why is that? Don't blame the school systems. Again, not saying that they're perfect and there's not some issues, but at the end of the day, it's your responsibility as a parent to teach your daggone children at the end of the day. And if you don't like what the school is doing, put them in one that you can afford. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't afford nothing. I teaching, I, I you that. know, all the BS. I get that, but who mm -hmm. is teaching? We, you, you and I, you agree that black men aren't in the home, right? That's what you said. Right, that's and, you know, black men are abandoning their kids. Yeah, so unfortunately. Teaching, so who is the only the mother is then left to teach the culture to these children? No well, black mothers are teaching this toxic blackistan culture that you're complaining about to the children. 
Yeah, and a lot of those women that teach that, they're the ones that are black male identified. Those are the mammies. I know, but those same so, are now going over to these other races and having children outside of wedlock. The mammy is going to call someone else the mammy. Okay, mammy. Again, stupidity, given what we all know, what mammy truly means, but they want to throw that out there like it's an insult. It actually makes you all look even more stupid, more stupid than what we already know you are. They're doing the same thing, so they're going to destroy those white communities and Asian communities and Hispanic communities just like they destroyed. And that's why ain't all these white men that they think coming to the rescue ain't going to have it because they know at the end of the daggone day, y'all can't help us with nothing. You could just have a nice big ass and anything else physical that they like because men are men at the end of the day. They can bust it wide open. Just like what you see in ghetto gaggers and that's what they're doing and y'all are allowing it and then they pump and dump you as we see by this by the amount of videos on TikTok of people crying because someone did this to them you poor thing oh he pump and dumped you that's on you dumbass. That's why I'm sick of mammies. I don't like mammies and um, they go wherever they go they'll get with a white guy and still defend black so what she's now saying is the black sisterhood that she wanted is really not the black sisterhood that she wants she only wants the ones that believe the same thing that she does so black women she don't give a damn about you either which is what really at the end of the day makes these people dangerous because you can't tell them from anyone else so they will sit up here and undermine you as well because god forbid someone like me should be married to a black man god forbid have a decent life have no issues for the most part and then have children on top of it and support him and build with him. OMG, how did I ever do that? How is that possible? I must be, it must be something wrong with me. You know, I'm a mammy and I'm begging. I'm begging him to be with me. I'm begging him to be a part of my life. Is that what it is? Y'all just mad because you don't know how to do it because you don't want to listen. And instead of taking the opportunity and the time to fix what's wrong in your daggone head or talk to someone that's got some damn sense, you want to leech onto a stupid train with a bunch of gaggles that don't care nothing about you and shit. Ooh, sorry, y'all. And sit up here and say stuff that makes you, you sound like a two year old. And that is an insult to two year olds. So I apologize to them. Black men, they'll still see black men as victims of some type of white supremacy. I don't believe in white supremacy. Yeah, yeah, right? okay, but, but let's stay on the point. What I'm saying is the... Thank you, but before we even go further, I don't believe in white supremacy. I don't believe in white supremacy. So, okay, y'all, next time there's black woman and something happens to them, and God forbid something happens to them as far as the police is concerned, then let's see if these gaggles go on out and do something. Because you see with the guy in Miami that was killed, we, that's not our issue. That's not our issue. Nobody even asked y'all to have an issue with it. It's not even in my opinion about black and white, but B, I just want to keep coming and trying to come at me about it. I'm going to talk about whatever the hell I want on up over here until this channel burns to the daggone ground. But what we're not going to do is sit up here and act like the point is it was a domestic violent situation. It happened to be a black man and a white woman. So when you are over here in your domestic violent relationship, so don't act like it's not the case with a white man and a black woman, or he's treating you like a slave master and you like that. Let's not get it twisted. You know, they like that. And something happens to you because as pointed out by plenty of content creators, specifically shout out to Red Supreme TV, he has a bunch of situations where D white man has deleted D black woman and no one gave a damn. Ain't no swirler nor divester up here on YouTube. Report on it. Talk about it. Speak about it. Look into it. Create a GoFundMe. Nothing. So at the end of the day, y'all don't even care about each other. All you care about is your hatred towards someone that you don't even want to be a part of. So why be so consumed with it is the real question. The same mm -hmm. lovely ladies that you mm -hmm. said you want to get with and y'all want to have this black female thing. I don't know what you would say. I, I don't want to miss cult. Yeah, it's a divestment utopia. It's a cult. <laughs> yeah, but it's a cult. To have this same toxic culture exactly that has destroyed the black community exactly and now they're taking it they're exporting it other places well that's why we take it 
Take it on over there. Have a good old time. Have fun. Do your thing. Leave everyone else the F alone. We have, you know, our our people like, I, I know you don't like her, but Cynthia G, she's helping black women like that learn the pathology of these black men and learn. Girl, you sound like you hurt yourself saying that daggone word. You don't even know what you're talking about. The, the lore of the YouTuber who shall remain nameless is the fact that she can cherry pick all of these situations. And let's not act like there are not a lot of situations, y'all, because there are. I'm on here. I see them. But she's cherry picking and putting it up and then throws out the word pathology and a couple other words and, and does the, the view of whatever it is that she's talking about. And then comes back and says the pathology 55 more million times in one with a trash bag on the picture and they eat it up. It's all being done for money, all being done for money. And that person is not even a divester. Not even a divester. So the divester want to sit up here and drag her into it. And she made a video specifically to say that she is not a divester because you're not going to tell her that she's not going to F the black men that she wants to F. She just don't want to have any more, any more children. So that's what the message is. F them, but don't get pregnant by them. That's the real message. And at the end of the day, if she is trying to help you figure out what man you shouldn't be with, that's probably a good thing anyway. But why are you even over there? Why are you even over there? That message shouldn't even be the message for your group. Because y'all, divestment and that other person are, are, are different. They've explained it. They've talked about it and everything. And I see where the difference is. So this, this one right here on the um, screen just wants to be anywhere where anyone is hating on black men. That's the bottom dag online. Because that's the only thing they have in common is the fact that they want to talk negatively about black men. It gets them off. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It gets money for the other one. But this other group, they're just happy as pigs and shit. That they don't have to accept certain things. That they can think of their wound as like their temple. Don't give black men your wound like that. Okay. At the end of the day, dummy, you shouldn't be giving anyone your womb like that. So if these people care about all the black women and the black women and the black women, the black women, the black women, the black women, the black women the sisterhood, the sisterhood, then why aren't they out here with all these H O E S S models, quote unquote, influencers, quote unquote, Dubai hangar outers, quote unquote? Why aren't they going after them and trying to get with them and talk to them, bring them in? Go, go for them. There's a lot of black ones. Go over there, shaking ass, doing all these inappropriate things, trying to get with all these famous people, all that type of stuff. Why aren't y'all talking to them? Why aren't y'all reaching out to them? Bring them into the sisterhood. Take them with you. Take them with you. I just give it willy nilly like that. White men I'm having the their babies. I, I get it, but you're, they're giving these their womb to the white men and the Hispanic men. And no, she don't want to hear that, Mr. Sperling. She don't want to hear that because that would make sense. What you're saying is what you do over here on the right is what you're doing over here on the left. And it doesn't matter what the race is. You're doing the same thing. At the end of the day, that means that you are the actual problem. So until you fix what's going on inside of your effed up brain, you're going to continue to do the same things. That's called definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. But you're getting the same result because you're not taking care of what the actual problem is. And that's why going over there with them, all that's going to get you is all this is going to be over here fighting for you because they not. We not. Be gone. Goodbye. See you. Peace. Deuces. With that, I'm done with this because you know I get all riled up with this mess and I'm tired of foolishness. I'm just tired of foolishness. So if you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Don't forget to at minimum, at minimum, please make sure you follow my backup channel and like this video. I will see you all in the next one.